NRC will always work in Bengal in some form or the other if you can play it rightly. It can cut both ways. It can help BJP, it may not help BJP, it may help Trinamool, it may not help Trinamool, depending on who is playing the card where and how. Um, I mean, because a, a large number of people you know, and I don't have an immediate data, and this is a controversial thing, so I don't want to get into the percentage also, but a large number of people, like my father, they've all come from East Pakistan, either East Pakistan or post-independence, uh, I mean post-independence Pakistan or in Bangladesh after 1971, a large number of people. So you, you define them in any way, you call them refugees, you call them the Dalit Hindus, you call them, uh, you call them Dalits, or you call them, you know, the upper caste Hindus, or you call them, uh, you know, whatever name you give them, you know, refugees, you immigrants, whatever you call them. Of course, now we are dividing on a Hindu-Muslim line. Uh, that's a that's a different different thing. But the point is, a large number of people have come, you know. So when you start NRC or try to do something like NRC, people get very alarmed that what it is about. Uh, there is. Uh, fear about Islam in certain pockets and Muslims in certain pockets in Bengal. True. <coughs> but in this in this area, you know, Bengali, 70% of them in this region are Muslims. If you consider Bangladesh, there are 70% of the Bengalis are Muslims. Global Bengali, 70% of them are Muslims. So the Bengalis fear, the Bengali Hindu fear about Muslim and the Islam. While the Bengali Bhadralok has a lot of fear, the Calcutta-centric Bengali Bhadralok has a lot of fear about Muslim and Islam, the Bengali in the village, the, they, 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 they have much less fear because they have lived with the, uh, with the Muslim. At the same time, those who have come from the other side, they also, they also know uh, about Muslim and Islam. You know, so they have both. On one side, maybe their houses were set on fire. The Hindus I'm talking about, uh, their houses are set on fire. Maybe they are, they are bitten up, so they have that experience. At the same time, they have lived there, so they have also known good people and bad people. So they have an experience. People like my father also got very alarmed. Like when they talk about NRC, you know, people who have come even before 1947 get extremely you know, apprehensive, like, you know, what they're talking about and we, what is the cutoff date, you know. So, um, uh, so, so, there, so, as I said, that some people have this, uh, you know, they're not very, uh, among the Hindus, some of them are not very happy with the Muslims, especially those who are uh, always living here. At the same time, uh, it is a mixed feeling. It is just not one thought about Muslim in this part, like it is in perhaps in many other states in this country, it is just not one thought about the Muslim and the Islam. There is fear about their own identity, where they have come from, and how they are going to prove their identity if they are asked the way they are asked in Assam. Uh, because Assam is a different problem altogether. NRC in Assam and NRC in Bengal are completely two different things. So how NRC is going to pan out, we don't know as of now. See, BJP is not talking flatly about NRC also in Bengal. It is saying a few lines about NRC and then, you know, putting a lot of caveat. For a good example is Amit Shah first said uh, about NRC in the state. And then there was some human cry in the hills because a lot of people are supposedly, according to BJP, they have, I'm not saying this, but BJP said this, that a lot of people have come from Nepal. In fact, their, uh, who was their MP earlier, has Mr. Alwalia has said this, that a lot of people have come from Nepal. So, so when you do an NRC, will the people in Nepal, uh, people of uh, Darjeeling Hills be in trouble in some kind of scanner? So there was some debate uh, in the hills about that. And so they had to clarify it. I mean, uh, the Prime Minister then uh, in, a, in, a, uh, in a public meeting said that people who have come, they don't need to fear. And I spoke to these leaders in Darjeeling Hills who were connected to the BJP and they said yes. There is this 1950 accord between India and Nepal and the Nepal people who have come from Nepal don't need to go back, things like that. In any case, the Gorkhas uh, uh, are there, as they say, they are son of the soil, so it doesn't, um, it, it doesn't affect them, you know. 
So, but what I mean to say that in Bengal, many people have come from many parts of the of the country, you know, and outside the country. So there will be a lot of hue and cry about this, much more than it is in Assam. And any political party which wants to do business here, which wants to run this state, cannot support NRC the way it is supported in Assam, you know, because uh, a substantial support of the CPIM at one point in time was the support of the refugees. Even now, that support, uh, Trinamool Congress get the support of the refugees, you know, a large chunk of them support the refugees. So suddenly, when the, when, I mean, if the refugees, in particularly in one constituency, it's Bonga constituency, if we find the BJP is winning, then we have to think, rethink this whole, whole thing, that yes, then NRC has worked. And uh, the Prime Minister will, uh, let's see how much Prime Minister focuses on NRC in that area. Uh, but it is just not NRC, it is also the Citizenship Act which they are talking about and how much they focus on it in that area uh, is also critical, also critical. So we have to see through that. And, but if after that they vote for the BJP, then I would say that, you know, that yes, when they played this NRC card, they played it correctly. But at this point, uh, I'm not very sure because NRC, uh, people, I'm not very sure if people are very pro-NRC in this state. Uh, till the last election, because till the last election we have seen the uh, vote in the in, in areas where supposedly the refugees leave. I'm not I'm saying not saying the refugees leave only in particular area, but they leave across the state. But the refugee vote is a big factor, and that uh, this vote will indicate because BJP has discussed NRC. But as I said, that you know, BJP has also not spoken about NRC as strongly as they did in Assam. They have not spoken that strongly. They have not made NRC the central issue in Bengal. It is not the central issue in Bengal. There are they are targeting of the manager and other issues, but not NRC as a central issue.